Hey, hello. hello. Welcome back to Expats in Progress. Jazz hands, apparently. Yeah. But yeah, welcome back to Expats in Progress. Today we're going to look at the most effective British adverts. I, for one, am very excited. I'm pretty excited. Number one will shock you. I don't know what number one is, though. You haven't yeah, watched haven't any watched of these. I also haven't watched any of these, yeah, so this is impressed. like a genuine reaction here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. On your child's life. Last year in England, 15 children died in house fires. Children like yours. So parents, I'd like you to make a promise. Repeat after me. I swear on my child's life to test my smoke alarm on clock change day. Give my family the best chance of surviving a house fire. You did promise, didn't you? Because you can't turn back time. Wow. Well, that was horrifying. I mean, it is a good thing that you got to test your smoke alarms. Yeah, but like, Well, okay, I wow. got a little teary-eyed there. That, okay, starting off heavy. Wow. Jesus. Do people really not test their smoke alarms? Maybe not. Apparently Actually, not. Like, we test our smoke alarms pretty regularly. But well, like, it auto does everything and it oh, beeps yeah. if it doesn't work. Yeah. I think like we did put that one back up. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, otherwise, yeah. We test our other smoke alarms. But okay. Let's do the second yeah. one. Tree, St. John ambulance. Hmm. Is it about a car that goes into a tree? Um, you oh yeah. Uh, you know those ones where? Oh, hold on. Got to get this, buddy. Hello, Martin. Wasn't expecting to hear from you today. Well, wasn't Steve supposed to be sorting that out on Friday? Okay. problem. Alice is one of thousands of St John Ambulance volunteers. She's fully trained in first aid and knows what to do in any situation. Say something, buddy. She can be the difference between life and death. But what she can't do is be there every time. Briefly. Help! Help! <laughs> okay, so I did gig I giggled a little bit when he fell just because like he like bounced. <laughs> But like that was really sad. Why are these all about children? Because that's it's the, effective. That's, it's that's it, yeah, they're effective. Like I've never seen ads in the U.S. like this. Like no, I, because ow. they're too afraid of hurting people's feelings. Yeah, these are these hit hard. Wow. Okay. The next one's going to be even more intense. Clearly, it's called Dead Man Talking. Yeah. This... Transport for London. I wonder if it's going to be about the tube. Probably. Here we go. I could be at home now, watching telly with the kids. Or I was thinking about going for a pint. Instead, I punched my lung, and it's slowly filling up with blood. I'm going into cardiac arrest now. <laughs> Silly place to overtake, really. Still, you live and learn, don't you?
That one wow. was depressing. I knew it was going to be sad. Well, that, they're all going to be sad. But yeah. That was horrible. Yeah. Safe driving. Okay. There wow. you go. Uh, what is this on. one? Sarah's Story Motor Neurone Disease Association. Now you know how it feels to get motor neurone disease. Help us fight back. I didn't even know what that was. I didn't either. That was like kind of, I thought it was like a horror movie or something. Yeah. Which kind of, it looks like it is. For a horror movie concept, that'd be kind of cool actually. But like, it's, it's horrible. Horrifying. Oh my gosh. It's, wow. Okay. Wow. Um, that was interesting. Moving on to. Okay. Life Look, story. Bert Barnardo. Barnardo's. 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 Do you need to um, come through, take a seat? Uh, do you want tea or coffee or anything? I'm all right for the time being, thank you. Okay. You look really well. Yeah. What have you been up to? Lots of rock climbing. Lots. That sounds good. So, how's life these days? Yeah, things are good. Got a job, got a girlfriend, got a little boy. I never let him go for what I went through. Still having the nightmares though. But my anger's under control. I trust people more. I'm getting a bit better now. You know, it's like I could see a way out. That one from Bernardo's is alright. We talk a lot. And I trust her. Everyone else could just do one. The woman from Bernardo's doesn't give up. Keeps asking why I nick stuff. Do drugs, hit people. I told her where to go. I told my foster parents where to go just like the last ones. Don't trust no one. I ain't changing. They laughed at me at the bus stop. Because I said I was going to be a dick. Can't say that again. Mammy's boyfriend hates me. I tried hard, but he always finds me. I'm scared. Oh my god. That one was so uh, sad. That was Oh my rough. god. At least they have like ads for that. Yeah, at least they're like trying to help people that are in those kinds of Unlike the US situations. where they just say that they're trying to help but they're not. But wow. Um That was really sad. Yeah. It took me a minute to figure out the concept of that one. Yeah, I wasn't sure what was but going on. But then all of a sudden I was like, oh god. Oh no. It I started seeing him de-aging and I was like ah. I was like no I knew exactly where it was going I was like oh shoot that okay yeah uh okay I am a okay. crisis British red oh the British Red Cross this will be happy I am the fire that leaves you homeless a harsh stack in aisle six the prescription you cannot collect I am the boiled sweet stuck in your child's throat the motorway pileup that leaves you traumatized. The food shopping you cannot do. I'm the 
reason you need a wheelchair. The flood that leaves you stranded. The empty house when you return from hospital. I am a crisis. And I don't care who you are. The head okay. of the Red Cross is actually right by us. Oh, yeah. I always forget that. That's like global that. headquarters. Really? Yeah. Oh. Isn't that crazy? That's weird to think about. Yeah. That was... That wasn't as horribly sad as the other ones, but no. it was still intense. This next one's probably going to be pretty sad. It's called Helpless by St. John's Hospital. Oh, hey, they already popped up on here once or before. Or St. John Ambulance, but yeah. Ah. Uh, I'm not ready for this. I am not ready for this. Because the last one of these was sad. I think he's choking. He needs to try and cough. Okay, okay, because he's asking me to stop. How long are they going to be? They'll be here in five minutes. They need to be here now. Well, then, we need to let them in. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, my God. Let me in. Do something. Let me in. 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 Okay, that one was like a little exaggerative. Yeah. Because you're telling me no one there knows how to make someone stop choking? No one. Just absolutely no adult there. Maybe. That makes I, no sense. Yeah, I would hope somebody would know. I mean, I don't know, like, how it differs between, like... It doesn't. I, it's I the, the same US, for everyone. Like, well, yeah, I know in the U.S. there's, like, at least things posted everywhere on how to do There is baby. in the U.K. too. You learn how to do it in theory in most cases, but... Yeah. Oh. That that was intense. That was... You, you survived cancer, and then I was like, oh, maybe this is happy, and... and no, I knew it wasn't going to be happy. I, I fell for it. Yeah, the next one's also going to be sad. It's Bernardo's again, <sighs> so it's going to be about, like, child, child abuse. Yep. Break the cycle. Ah, they've let you out again, have they? You worthless little cow. Come on in. Check the sleep. I don't know what it says, all right? You okay? Here, here, 20 quid. Little cow. I, I don't know what it says. Eh, twenty quid. Give me the money. Worthless little cow. I don't know what it says. Eh, twenty quid. Money. Worthless. It says twenty quid. Money. Worthless. It says twenty quid. Money. Worthless. 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 Money. Worth
So I wonder if that's still a charity there. Yeah, I'm starting to think about donating to them. I was like, we I, could I totally means, donate to them. The advert worked, but also like... Well, it's, yeah, it's an effective advert, but also like it's a yeah. cause that we like both believe in and stuff like that. Yeah. What's the next one? Okay. Torture by any other... The, oh. Who's Helen Bamber? Shh. We're probably going to find out. Elena didn't think anyone would hurt her. Elena trusted everyone. Maria doesn't That's Emma trust Thompson. anyone. Elena wanted to learn English. Oh, jeez. Maria gets beaten if she says no. Elena worked in a market to support her family. Maria works for nothing. Elena wanted to help people and be a nurse. Maria services up to 40 men a day. Elena used to cry when her father was cross with her. Maria doesn't feel anything anymore. Elena's family thinks she's dead. Help me. I was Elena. I am Maria. Help me. I'm here. Yeah, I figured it was going to be something like that. They take, well, I mean, it should be the same here. I don't know if it is, but oh, sh yeah. No. But, um, like, when we were looking through stuff in the UK, everyone takes, like, trafficking and human trafficking a lot more seriously than the US. Oh, yeah. Like, most websites have a statement on them about their human trafficking. Oh, it's a whole prevention thing. Prevention things. And, like, it's... Yeah, human trafficking is a huge thing in the UK, whereas, like, in the US, it's just people being afraid that they're going to be human trafficked. And it's only middle-aged women that are afraid of it, and they'll talk about it, but they won't actually care about preventing it. It's strange. Yeah. Everybody in the U.S. wants to be a victim. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, last one. If okay. London were Syria. This, ah. Uh, mm. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Oh. You wish. Oh, no. Not the kids. I know this one. Granny. Have you done your homework? Adam. Ready or not. Here he comes. And clashes with British. Five ammunition against. Deserve to get shot. Hi, nice day, Hi, yeah. Air strikes on rebel position. We are going to stay. Tapping. Go. Yeah. So that last one I've seen before. Same. It still hits. It still always makes me really teary eyed. But yeah, that's that was the top 10 most effective British adverts. Number and one did shock me. Yeah. I'm sad now. I know. So am I. But yeah, if you enjoyed that and want to see another one of those, <laughs> let's do another one. We can be sad together. Remember to like, comment. Subscribe. It helps Hit that a lot. notification bell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we're sad now. Yeah, we're sad. Okay. <laughs> see you next uh, time. See ya. Bye. Bye.